Hello and welcome to another review for Xbox One Reviews. I'm Daniel Waite and this is brought to you in association with Andrew Edney's Movies, Games and Tech.com. Thanks to Andrew for allowing me to make content for his page and thanks to the publishers and developers for the code. Today's review is Cannibal Cuisine which is available for around £9 on multiple platforms. So let's wait no longer and see what it's all about. I find it amusing that most people run a mile from challenging and hectic jobs. However, when they have the chance to do it in a video game, they jump at the opportunity. Cannibal Cuisine follows in the footsteps of Overcooked, Tools Up, and moving out. It has a wonderful twist on the action and is brutal, tough and amusing. If you love the genre, you'll know exactly what you'll get, but how does it compare to its peers? Developed and published by Rocket Vulture, this is a cooperative and competitive solo or multiplayer experience. You must control a band of tribal warriors who slay tourists to create sacrifices for their gods. The action begins at a nice, gentle pace, but it soon becomes hectic and painstakingly difficult. Subsequently, you'll need a hefty slice of luck, a strong plan and a methodical mind to be victorious. Fans of the genre will instantly recognise the usual mechanics, and this makes it brilliantly familiar. Cannibal Cuisine wonderfully incorporates some well-established elements into its gameplay, such as a star rating system, simple combat and clear objectives. However, it also keeps things fresh by adding some twists to the genre standards. Each player has a special ability that reduces the difficulty when playing alone or supports the team when playing with friends. Consequently, this adds a layer of tactical nuance that many of its peers have failed to incorporate. The main campaign revolves around a tribe and the ever-hungry Hoochaboo. These insatiable entities demand food and they don't care how you get it. Luckily, the lands where the tribes reside are teeming with tourists. These clueless holidaymakers don't know it, but they are the key ingredient for every meal. You must combine an array of meats and vegetables, cook them and present them to the Hoochaboo to score points. At the end of every stage, your score is calculated and as long as you have one star, you can progress. Like its peers, Cannibal Cuisine treats you to an array of levels. There are four islands to explore and each comprises six stages and one challenge event. You'll visit a jungle, temple, beach and a volcano. Each has a unique style and many deadly obstacles to overcome. Subsequently, no area is the same and you must adjust your approach to maximise your score and be victorious. Furthermore, the latter stages add an array of complex recipes. You must gather body parts and a plethora of ingredients to cook a tasty meal. Alongside the main story, you can experience an Egyptian campaign called The Curse of the Scarab King. This was a welcome addition to the action as it adds a deceptively difficult twist to the core concept. Here you must slaughter mummies and gather exotic fruits to feed the beasts. Moreover, an array of traps and pitfalls make this option much more challenging. Subsequently, veteran gamers will be punished and tested as they attempt to lift the curse. Undoubtedly, this is a genre that excels in both solo and cooperative modes. However, the action flourishes when you play as a team. The developers have focused their efforts on making it a tactical team game, and this is where you'll get the most out of it. By working together you can combine special abilities, overcome traps and feed the hoochaboos in record time. The maddening gameplay and hectic nature of the action all but guarantees arguments and fallouts. Consequently, you may wish to settle your differences in the competitive multiplayer mode. Designed to be played online or couch co-op, this addictive option quickly becomes heated. You play one versus one or two versus two, as each team shares the stage and resources. 
you have one aim in mind and that is to score more than your opponent. This was challenging, fun and as infuriating as playing Monopoly. Furthermore, it's wonderfully Moorish and rounds are short so this is a perfect casual title. Much of Cannibal Cuisine's elements are a fresh twist on well trodden and much loved mechanics, however its graphics are very much run of the mill. Now this doesn't mean they are poor or bland, no they are not. They are very good and striking and match the theme perfectly, yet where I was disappointed was the lack of originality. What was presented looked similar to its peers and this was frustrating. So much of Cannibal Cuisine is unique and this makes it stand out, sadly its graphics do not shine. Luckily, the taste of disappointment doesn't linger thanks to the wonderfully themed audio. The quaint and upbeat tribal music is combined with some crunch and sound effects and amusing noises. I adored the finer details and the brutality of the tourists being bludgeoned. This was supported further thanks to the fiery rock spitting hoochaboos and the sizzling food on the spits. The cruelty of the sound effects makes this an amusing title to play. With only 4 commands to master, this is a simple game to pick up and play, yet I still struggle to familiarise myself with them. I repeatedly threw punches instead of grabbing an item, I also lost count of the errors I made with the special abilities, however these frustrations quickly dissipate if you play it regularly, therefore casual gamers must be prepared for some frustrating times as errors will occur. Cannibal Cuisine is unbelievably addictive and fun to play, yes the action can be overwhelming and challenging but this makes it increasingly Moorish. With 30 plus stages, 120 plus stars and a fun and competitive multiplayer option this has both longevity and replay value. There are many great titles in this category and Cannibal Cuisine is one of them. It's an excellent addition to the genre and a must play title. It excels in nearly every department and that's why you should buy it. The Hoochaboos are hungry and you have a surplus of tourists. Kill two birds with one stone and remove your problems once and for all. That's it for me today, thank you for watching and I hope you like what you've seen. If you have, give the video a like, comment below and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, keep gaming.